And hello people of YouTube and welcome to episode number 45 of my Nanny Life Vlogs. Um, a long time coming, um, basically because I feel like I'm repeating myself, there's been no news. Excuse me. There's been no news to talk about so I just haven't uploaded a Nanny Life video. Um, my last one was um, about basically what we know about the Nanny Netflix series but since then there's been literally no news. Um, over on Nani Web, they're doing all the podcasts about the Talking Beasts, talking about all the different covers and variations of the covers and all your different topics. Um, but as as in terms of Netflix, Nani News, there has been none. Um, I know the most recent news about Netflix is that they've lost a lot of subscribers um, and they're possibly thinking of introducing it like a subscription with ad breaks on um, to make it cheaper. But as in terms of Narnia, there's been no news about that. So, um, a, a, an article did go up on Narnia Web um, that I think is quite an interesting one to talk about. Um, so basically, the, what we're talking about today, as from the title, is um, would the Prince Caspian film and the Voyage of the Dawn Treader film, would they have been any different? if Andrew Garfield had played the role rather than Ben Barnes. So yes, so um, a couple of, I think it was a couple of months ago now, um, an article got released um, and it was pretty much confirmed that Andrew Garfield um, auditioned for the role of Prince Caspian. Of course, we know he was ultimately beat um, by Ben Barnes. Ben Barnes ultimately got the role for Caspian and Don Treader. Uh, but yeah, Andrew Garfield actually went for the role which surprised me actually. Um, I wouldn't have thought Andrew Garfield would have really gone for that type of role to be fair with you. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna sort of make up like a kind of scenario, you know, how would the films have been different? Um, how would it have affected Andrew Garfield's career going on? Um, there was a couple of stuff he was doing around the time Prince Caspian came out so it could have possibly affected that. So we shall see, we shall see. So I've worked out the ages, um, so basically around sort of 2007, about well, 2006, 2007, um, Ben Barnes, when he was filming Caspian, he was 26 years old. Andrew Garfield was actually younger, um, not by much, um, he's two years younger than Ben Barnes. So Andrew Garfield, he would have been 24 if, if he had got the role for Caspian. Um, so it still goes to show they were of course going for the older Caspian um of course Andrew Garfield he did he, uh, even but I've seen him in some of his earlier films and he didn't look 13 but he did he didn't look 24 either I would have assumed he would have been maybe about 19 20 yeah he didn't look 24 when he was um but yeah obviously they were still going for the older Caspian so it can be assumed that if Andrew had gotten the role, he would have stayed on for Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Um, talking of the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, would he have had to grow a beard like Ben Barnes did? Possibly. Um, in Caspian, would Andrew have had to keep the, the accent that Ben Barnes had to use? Possibly. Um, assuming that the film would have had the same cast, like obviously Miraz and everyone like that. I do believe possibly Andrew might have had to do an accent just like Ben Barnes did, but of course that was dropped for Don Treader, so that would have been interesting to see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to talk about um, Andrew Garfield's, like what he did before Cas before Caspian came out. Um, and obviously if he had gotten the part for Caspian, would that have affected um, his future commitments to films? Um, so before, sort of, well, before 2008, um, Andrew Garfield was a relatively unknown actor. Um, he did a he did star in a short film called Mumbo Jumbo. That was his first sort of feature film, if you'd call it. But it was only a short film. But that was his first sort of credit in a movie. Um, if he if he had got the role for Caspian, it would have been his third film debut. Um, his first two were Boy A and Lions for Lambs, neither of which I've seen. Um, but them two were his first major film roles. Um, 
and of course um going like between sort of 2008 to 2010 so this was this would have been roughly when he was he, he would have obviously had commitments if he had gotten the role he would have had commitments to the nani franchise um so one film that he starred in um was this um the other bullying girl he only had a very small role i only just found out recently andrew garfield was in this film believe it or not um I couldn't believe, like, the cast in this film is incredible. Besides, obviously, of course, the main three cast. But I never knew Andrew Garfield was in that film. Eddie Redmayne's in that film as well. Um, I, I went back and rewatched it recently. And I, I never even knew Andrew Garfield was in that movie. Um, he only plays a small role. Um, he's kind of just in the background in several shots. Don't I don't think he even spoke in the film, to be fair with you, but... Uh, so that was one of the films that he did. Um, he was also in Doctor Parnassus, if I've pronounced that right, a film I've never I've never watched. Um, another film he did. So this was released. This was released in two thousand ten, so it would have been filmed around two thousand nine. So potentially, if Andrew Garfield was in Voyage of the Dawn Treader, he might not have done this film. He was in this. Never let me go. I really enjoyed Andrew Garfield in this film. Actually, um, I thought this was a really kind of sweet film. Um, not a film that I usually watch, but I, I, I did highly enjoy this. Um, I did enjoy Andrew Garfield's character as, as well. So that came out in 2010. <clears throat> now, he also won... Um, so back when he did his two original films, um, he won the British Academy TV Award for the Best Actor for Boy A. Um, and he was in TV, he wasn't, he was in sort of the odd episode of things here and there for TV. He appeared in two episodes of Doctor Who, I don't remember him in Doctor Who at all. Um, but at the moment I am planning on re-watching Doctor Who. So, obviously I, I, I will obviously get to his episodes, but I don't remember him in Doctor Who at all. Um, he was in five episodes of Sugar Rush, and he did do a lot of theatre and drama productions as well. So that was before, um, up to this point, Andrew Garfield, so up to like 2010, Andrew Garfield was relatively unknown, not many people knew about him. It wasn't until um, his his main breakout role was this, The Social Network. Um, now, of course, you can just about see here, he is on the back there in one of the images. Um, but yeah, this was the film that got him recognition. Um, the Social Network, obviously the Facebook movie. Um, so, of course, um, from there he did claim um, recognition from that. So, if Andrew Garfield had, take, had had won the role of Caspian, and if he had reprised the role for Don Treader, potentially Andrew Garfield might not have been in that. He That would have been filmed roughly around the same time Don Treader was. It would have been filmed 2008, 2009. Um, so, potentially... It could have changed that, that Andrew might not have even been in that movie. Um, of course, if Andrew had gotten the role of Caspian, this would have been his, his probably his, his first major role, really. <clears throat> or first major sort of reoccurring role that he, he would have played multiple times. Um, but obviously, that was the film that did get him recognition. But his main recognition, of course, came from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. And, of course, most recently with No Way Home. Um, you know, I think Andrew is amazing as Spider-Man. You know, I enjoyed Toby's Spider-Man. I enjoyed Tom Holland's. Andrew is my favourite out of the three, though. Um, so, yeah, so, obviously, going back to Narnia. So, Caspian came out in 2008. So, around about then, Andrew, relatively unknown. He was in a couple of films here and there. So they might have potentially had to even recast um, if Andrew decided no, he wanted to do the Social Network movie. They possibly might have even had to recast Caspian for Don Tres. We could have had a different actor playing him. Um, you know, would we have gotten Ben Barnes, potentially? Who knows? Um, would this have changed anything else? Um, so I've obviously I've touched on the accent. I do believe Andrew would have had to do the accent. Um, and I do believe he would have possibly had to grow on a beard like Ben Barnes did for the role as well. 
Um, I do still believe they would have had the Susan Caspian romance. That's kind of hard to envision. Um, Andrew Garfield and Anna Popwell, but um, it is what it is. You know, Anna Popwell would have been. I know that like it would have. It would it would have just been very bizarre, really. In my head, I can't imagine it. Um, of course, less is said about the Susan Caspian romance, but I do still think they would have had that in. I don't think the story for Caspian would have changed much. Um, I don't think it would have changed much for Don Treader either. Um, would it have affected, you know, would we have got them in the silver chair? I don't think much would have changed either. I think basically we, we, would, we would have been in the same situation as we are now, really. Um, you know, basically Nani's kind of stuck in limbo, then it would have got announced it's going to Netflix and stuff like that, so... I don't think it would have changed the outcome. I still would have think we would have been in this position, you know, waiting for updates for the Netflix adaptations. Um, I mean, potentially, Andrew Garfield could be, if he was still interested, he could potentially be um, involved in the Netflix adaptations. I mean, of course, he has had the big film on Netflix, Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, I've yet to see it, but I've heard it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of Andrew Garfield's best performances. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's been in that, so potentially he could be in the, Na the Nanny Netflix film. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, I mean, he could potentially play Caspian in the Voyage of the Dawn Dreader adaptation. Um, I would prefer them to get a younger actor for the Prince Caspian adaptation when they get around to it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a. I just thought this video was a fun sort of, not debate, but kind of like a fun thing to kind of think about. You know how would it have changed everything? You know, he if Andrew had been in Caspian and the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, he might not have even been in Social Network. I still would have believed he would. He would have still done Spider Man, um, but obviously that would have that would have depended on if they had if the Nani franchise had carried on. And Andrew would have appeared in Silver Chair, even if it was a small role. Then that would have been filming around the same time the first Amazing Spider-Man film came out. Um, and of course, we all know Andrew Garfield. He absolutely adores Spider-Man. Um, he loves playing the role. Hence why he came back for No Way Home. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just thought this was a little, a little fun video to do. Um, of course, my last video was my DVD update where I actually showed you guys that I got No Way Home for my collection. So I just thought, you know, this video makes sense to do, talk, keep it on the topic of um, of Andrew Garfield. So what do you guys think? You know, do you think if, if Andrew had gotten the role, do you think that how would that have changed, you know, the years to come? You know, how would it have affected anything? I do, I do think it might have affected the social network. Because obviously that would have, he can't be in two places at once. So he would have had to choose. Um, but honestly, I, I do think potentially there could have been a recast there. Um, they might have had to get an Raptor for Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Um, but who knows? Who knows? What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. This should be a fun discussion down there, I think. Um, but yeah, let, let me know, guys, what you think of this. Um, it's a bit of a long video, so... Um, I will keep it, I will finish it here for you guys, but um, yes, yeah, an interesting, interesting possibility. It could have affected Ben Barnes' career as well, I mean, he was relatively, he was kind of like Andrew, he was relatively unknown before Caspian, um, he'd been in a couple of things, um, but of course Ben Barnes, I mean, they're, they've both kind of like done really well in recent years, obviously Andrew, you know, he did well with Spider-Man. Tick, tick, boom. You know, Ben Barnes, he's recently been in Shadow and Bone. He's been in several other films as well. So they've both done really well. Um, so it could have changed the course of history. It might not. It might not have done. It might not have had any effect at all. Who knows? Let me let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I am really sorry for the lack of uploads at the moment. Um, there's just no news to talk about, really. Um, once news does get up and running again, of course, I will do more of these videos, but... With no news, it's kind of hard to do videos. I know that I've still got a lot of character videos to get through. 
um but it's hard sort of juggling work and you know life and i've got holiday coming up as well so it's hard juggling everything at the moment if there is any major nanny news of course i will do a video as soon as i can um so i will let you guys know about that um so i'll leave it there guys thank you for watching thank you for all those that are sticking around on the channel even though i don't upload often um it is much appreciated for your guys support um so i'll leave it there guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys